Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. This is Mr. New Vegas. Thank you very, very much for listening. We've got some news for you coming right up. The NCR flag has been hoisted over former Legion Outpost Nelson after heavy fighting. NCR officials are calling this a big win for troop morale. In addition, rumors continue to swell that Mr. House, the father of New Vegas, has passed away. Who will fill the power vacuum on the Strip remains uncertain. Those were our top stories. Ladies and gentlemen, this next song goes out from me to you. And this video goes out from me to you, viewers. Hey everybody, TBG Hunter here, and welcome back to more Fallout New Vegas. Last time, we pretty much started the wrap-up process around the Mojave. We got uh, Raul's, like, backstory and his old gunslinger outfit. Uh... What else did we do? It has been a while since I've done a recording of this. Um, actually, I might as well take a poke through my map. Because this might seem a little weird, but I ha it's been like, I think like three weeks since I've done a recording. Oh yeah, uh, we went to the New Vegas Medical Clinic and bought myself a couple of new upgrades. I now have thicker skin. Well, more than I originally did. And also a couple of things that up my special perks. Uh, and the only other significant thing we did was go to the Brotherhood of Steel safe house and pick up the T-51B power armor that was stationed there. And you know, best Fallout power armor for the desert wasteland, mostly because it just reminds me so much of Fallout 1. Now today's video, we're going to be heading off to Ranger Station Charlie because one of the things that we also did was we, that was sort of coinciding with Raul's quest as uh, we talked to Ranger Andy here in Novak, and he said he lost contact with the Rangers that he usually talks to down there, so we're gonna go pay them a visit, make sure everything's alright, and after that, we're gonna be making our way around the south side of McCarran. There are a couple of locations, both of which... Actually, no, one of which only just has, like, a creature I just want to show off because it is actually in the game, and the other one actually does have a quest, but a majority of our work is gonna be taking place in West Side. Just so that we can get that area officially knocked out of the way and pave the way for the next location we're going to be going to for a long, long side quest. But trust me, the reward is totally worth it. Now this is actually take two because, well, Audacity being the ever so headache inducing lovable bastard that it is. Yeah, it crashed on me, and I lost the entire audio take, and also it desynced everything from the... Oh, God, really? You guys again? Go away! I don't like your presence in my Mojave. Oh, wait, that just ran. Damn it! Wow, when do these guys upgraded plasma weapons? I'm the only one who's supposed to be gunslinging plasma weapons right here. Oh, God damn it, Rex. Of course, you would be the one who goes out. Where the hell's Raul? Um... Center of Mass will make me do more damage to you. Although, officially, probably not by much. Come on. Uh. Alright, you're dead. And you know what? Mysterious Magnum. Nope. Damn, I've been playing way too much Fallout 4. Because I just recently got, like, the last of the achievements. Yes, I know it took me... I've had the game since it ever came out, back when this series was actually supposed to be a celebration of it actually, you know, being a thing. And it only took me ten months past Nuka World to finally get the last of the achievements. I need to get that. I don't need that assault carbine. I'll just take the ammo that you guys have. I'll take the healing powder and the incendiary grenades. They're always worth a couple of caps. But yes, I finally got the last of the achievements in that game, which... I'm not gonna lie, I honestly believe that they glitched out on me my first playthrough through it. That's why it took me so long to get them. Also because they were just the most tedious of them all. And if you've played Fallout 4, you probably know which achievements I'm talking about. Now, I'm kind of sad and also kind of not that the recording for this failed beforehand. Because, A, I'm kind of sad because I missed out on actually being able to... Oh, God. I missed out on getting one of the achievements, uh, showing off that I got one of the four remaining achievements in this game, and all that's left is the Gunrunner Challenge achievements, which w the one I got was basically just the, nope, nope, ah, God damn it! I know you're dead, but I still blame you for this. 
And the reason I'm also not sad that I lost that recording was also because, to be honest, going back through what little audio and video I had, it was very lackluster. I was very scatterbrained in that video. I see that other uh, line. I don't think so. Anything else? No. The only explosion in the bathroom will be coming from me, thank you very much. And nothing that you had. Ranger Station Charlie audio log. Um, oh, you know what? First things first, where's that radio? I need to kill it. Phew, good. Now we can listen to that audio log. Turn the Raiders off. No casualties. In the meantime, the troll's back. They're late. I hope they got a good excuse. What took... Well, I guess we know when that ambush took place. And audio log number two. This is a message to the NCR from the Legion. We are coming for you. Run, and we will catch you. Hide, and we will find you. No matter what you do, you are all going to die. We took one of the women alive. Well, that just begs for them to just stand and fight like they usually do. I mean, if you're... If there's no reason to run, there's no reason to hide, then the only reason left is just stand and fight. Ugh. And empty whiskey bottles. Mm. Oh, you sick bastards! Oop. I see that tripwire down there. And totally not because Rex tripped it in my failed recording of this. Oop. Rex, no! No! Heal! Um... Ow! Rex. Don't you be smiling at me. Yeah, you're all sitting there happy-go-lucky while I just have both of my legs just blown right off me. I just healed those limbs as well. Ugh. Wait, why is, why is the dude stripped? The Ranger Patrol armor, right away. And I'll take that ammo. I don't really have any use for that patrol armor. Hmm. Oh, there's not much more we can do here. The Rangers in this station are all dead. They took one of the women as prisoner, and God only knows what's happened to her now. Let's just report back to Andy about the situation down here and, you know, be on our merry way. Andy, I've got good news hey, and bad welcome. news. And by good news, you I know, don't mean any news. Yeah, I went to the ranger station and everyone what? there was wiped out. What happened? Mm. You know, it might seem like a dick thing to do, but I want to at least give this old man some hope that, you know, it wasn't a complete and total shit show over there. The attackers are all dead, too. It's impossible to an good identify men the them. Good men. This whole town was sleeping a lot easier because of them. At least they gave somebody some hell on their way out. Well, thanks for telling me. I know that knowledge didn't come without risk. Here, take this. Courtesy of the Ranger Veterans Fund. And that should pay for some new legs. Look out for yourself. Oh, I will. Although, I left Rex back at Ranger Station, didn't I? Well, shit. Ooh, a DC Journal of Medicine. Uh, you don't mind me. Is really going to blend in with the scenery. Well, it's a very dark outfit, Ro. You could bl blend into like the darkness. And you know that that giant uh, sombrero that you're wearing, it, it could be mistaken for one of these. It, lo it looks like a. Okay, I can't even bullshit you. It looks nothing like a tumbleweed. I don't know where I was going with that. Let's go pick up Rex, and then I'm going to meet you over at. Cassidy Caravans, because two of the locations that we need to go to are over here, as well as we need to play one more visit to Camp McCarran before we start making our way over to Westside.
So I'll see you back over at the caravans as soon as I grab Rex. Uh, it only feels like yesterday since we uncovered a caravan conspiracy. And I can't believe that I left Rex on wait back at the ranger station. I could have sworn I set him back towards follow since I made him wait until he blew my legs off. I guess he wanted be, me to be more like him and have robotic legs. Which, you know, I'm not denying I wouldn't enjoy that, but I don't know. I already shoved enough robotic stuff into my body. I don't think I need any more right now. Hello, what have we here? Oh, look, it, it, it's an abomination upon the wasteland. Why don't we deal with it in the most appropriate of manners? And it's fire ants. Of course it's fire ants. Now, this is a locate Rex, where oh, god fiends. Wait. Oh, there he is. I thought that was like a notch in the wall or something. Nope. Oh god, the ants! That may have seen a tad ex <laughs> That may have seen a tad excessive, but I don't care. That was funny. I was too busy hunting fiends that I didn't even know that I aggroed the second fire ant over here. Now this area, it, it's a bit out of the way and in my opinion seems kind of pointless. It's just like a little mini dungeon, but it holds a one and only kind of enemy in this game. And anyone who's played Fallout 3 probably knows what that enemy is. I don't believe that she responds after you kill her like most enemies do and since she's the only one of her kind. But I am I am going after all the rare Mojave enemies, so ugh, it's only fair that I uh, scratch her off the bucket list. But deep down into this ant mound, which I'm surprised that this place isn't, and pardon the pun, actually no, crawling with ants, check it out. It's the Ant Queen. I don't think she's hostile. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get. Yeah, this seems like the thing that you need to get close to. No, no, apparently, no, she doesn't seem to be hostile. She, well, she's dead now. Thanks for the extreme close up. Well, I wasn't actually gonna plan on it. I actually thought that she would like attack you, but apparently, she is very docile, or well, was very docile. And there's actually a chance you can get the uh, ant pher pheromones from her. But it's actually a pretty low chance during the failed recording I went through here. And she didn't have the pheromones on her button. Oh, who knows? Maybe she's still ticking. Her antennas are going all wobbly. So who knows? Maybe she's playing dead. Yeah, we'll, we'll go with that. Oh well. That's a creature off the bucket list, and also something that's going to be haunting my nightmares tonight. Let's just head out. Yeah, I told you, this place is completely useless. It feels like it feels like it was a wasted opportunity to just, like, shove the Ant Queen down here for just no random reason. I mean, there's multiple places where the ants are populated at, and I don't know why they... I guess because it's an ant mound, and it makes sense that the Queen would be down here, and I guess she's, like, the reason all the, these ants in the Mojave have come to be. But I don't know, I feel like there might have been a cut quest that had to do with her. It just seems so random. Now before we head off to Camp McCarran to pick up a quest, because I was a complete and total idiot when I was there last time and actually missed out on it. Also, hello Draw Distance, I can see you, Good Spring Cemetery. Nice to see where I rose from the dead. Uh, there's a building over around here that I want to pay a visit to. And also, I, there's some fiends I want to shoot in the face! Uh, that's a grenade. And that's probably the person who threw the grenade, and I'm just gonna shoot the person who is shooting at me. I... I don't know if I sh... Mm. That's brisk. <laughs> Did you see his body just go skyrocket? It was like... Man... I wonder if this was like the primitive way of sky travel. Just use explosive ammunition before we made rockets. Or whichever came first. Alright. 
right, so the location that we want to go to is, I believe, this building right here. Yeah, that it has a door to go into, and thus means that it is the place we need to go into. And I'll just put some regular rounds. The Bands Creek building. Honestly, I have no idea why this place is what it is. It's just like another one of those random dungeons that I've just come across that... The only thing of value in here is just like a couple of caps. There, there's some ants in here. Oh my god, he's adorable. They're both adorable. I don't want... Bro, you bastard! I didn't want to kill him. I was going to make him a pet. I was going to name him Anthony. We were going to go on adventures together. I'll take my frustration out. Frustration out on these rad roaches. Uh, easy locked door over here. I remember from the failed recording. Uh, there's nothing really of value in this place. Like I haven't not. I've looked this place top to bottom. And I have not seen anything of value besides the tales of chivalry. Like, there's no star bottle cap, there's nothing of significant value in here, it just feels like a forgotten idea. Or maybe it's like a reference to something, I don't know. It feels like you can actually get up onto the second floor because there is a door back there and, you know, they have things that I will yeah, you know, that's empty. Is there anything in the filing cabinet? Junk junk is in the filing cabinet it feels like there's a way to get up to the second floor but every way to get up to the second floor is you know barred off so it's just a couple of small rooms and a bathroom i didn't uh show it off but there was actually a bathroom back in like the further of that hallway that you can see into the room and it's got stuff in there but you can't get into it the door is completely jarred and you can't open it I don't know, it just feels like I've come across a couple of places that seem like they had an idea for going, for using them, but I guess like budget constraints decided to stop them from seeing it through. Which I understand, this is a huge game, and you can't uh, remember to put everything in everywhere. But right now, the only thing left to do is to go into... Uh, go into fuck the NCR as to go into McCarran and we need to go talk to Boyd again. You remember her. She's the person who pumped me full of lead after I was pumping a legionnaire full of information. Ah, good times, good times. I still got the scars to prove it. And hey, check it out. A ranger friend from all the way back when I was bounty hunting the fiends is still waiting outside. I don't know why she's still here. And also oh, these two merchants who line. never decide to leave. Uh, there's some wildlife right here. Does that count? Is it eaten pavement? Those legion at least uh, whatever. Blood. I'll just see you when I get to Boyd just to save up on the trip. You got something to say? And we are here. Well, How's it like going, that? Boyd? Miss me? I bet you weren't tired of seeing my beautiful face. Hey, you see, at back. least my face doesn't look like it was hit. It hit every branch of the ugly tree on the way down. Yes, I'm back, because I'm stupid and forgot to ask you about something else. Uh, tell me about the break-ins. So I've got something else. Uh, who's missing? That's who I wanted to talk about. I forgot to ask if anyone else was missing. This actually leads into a quest that I completely glossed over. And I'm not going to lie, it took me 20 minutes to find yeah. out where I need to the go to get I'm this quest. Oopsie daisy. White. White had a lot of promise. Wanted to be a ranger as bad as anyone I've seen. But he also had some extracurricular activities going. Now he's gone. Word around the bases, he'd been going regularly. I'll see what I can find about a corporal white for you. Gamora. That's a casino on the strip. Classy place. His belongings are up in the barracks in the concourse building. First bunk on your left if you're facing it from the center. I haven't had a chance to look through his things yet, so that might be a good place to begin. Yeah, I bet you're really busy, you know, smoking and walking around in circles. And, oh, please tell me she's going where I think she's going with this. 
and, and typing on thin air. God, Boyd, how the hell did you get to the rank of lieutenant? Rex could probably make a better lieutenant than you are. And he's a dog! Granted, a robo-dog. A well, cyborg dog, but still. My point still stands. You are a terrible lieutenant. Hello. Huh. Hey. Why are you wearing a combat helmet? You're just a random trooper. You're not anyone special. Why... This is bugging me. Why is this just this random ass trooper here just wearing a combat helmet? I mean, it makes sense for the woman in here to be wearing a combat helmet, and also because she has a name, because she actually had a, a Mark Quest. So it, it make her stand out a bit more. But why is it, I'm so hung up on the stupidest thing of this random ass trooper just wearing a combat helmet? I don't know if they coded him wrong or something or whatever. C Corporal White's journal. Let's ha take a read, shall we? I pulled the log from the East Pumping Station computer l from the last week. Looking over the past several weeks and times are roughly consistent. There's definitely something going on. Water shouldn't even be going to the west side, and yet the log says otherwise. I know I'm onto something. West side, south cistern. Eh, that's just time frames. Huh. Well, it looks like our best bet is to go back to Gamora. Or... Wait. No, that's for the Republic. I need to go to the issue that people... The non-issue that plagues the oh-so-many people nowadays of the whitewashing. And we've arrived at the Gamora Courtyard, which is the location of the prostitute that the trooper that was visiting regularly. And there she is. I remember you. Back again? Did you miss Not in me? the slightest. I have questions. Have you ever spent time with a trooper named White? Yeah, he used to come around here a lot. Haven't seen him in a while, though. Why? Uh, he's gone missing, and I'm trying to track him down. Any ideas? He used to go on and on about water and the farms east of the Strip. He was talking to one of the farmers named Bascom. Had some problem with NCR. Boring as hell, but it was his money and his time. So I let him talk about whatever. All right, well, good to know. Unless we got another lead, we need to go to the sharecropper farms. You know, the place I spent over half an hour to look for this quest, even though I was like several miles away from the person I need to give this quest to give the egg to get this quest. I cannot talk. I can't talk to save my life. I don't think I'm going to cut back to me going to the sharecropper farms. I think instead we're going to be taking a little detour on the way. But don't get me wrong, we'll be making our way to the sharecropper farms, but this is going to like cut down on time and, you know, make everything more coherent and, you know, not as hectic of me going back and forth, back and forth to several different places. So instead, where we're going to want to go, instead, we want to go, it's not there. Closest would probably be, be bleh, probably be Grub and Gulp. Because there is a location that I have overlooked in the past that I thought had no significant value. Turns out there is actually a quest that deals with West Side over there. So we're going to make our way up to it and pick it up. Plus, there's actually a um, little something extra for doing Vault 34 over there, so it'll be nice to show it off. And oh, hey, look, the caravan's coming through. Let's see if they have anything of value on hand. Oh, big caravan's coming through. Let's see, that's just mercenary. Hey there, need anything? Yeah, it depends on what you have. Sure. Let's see, incendiary grenades, pl plasma, oh, plasma defender, tribeam laser rifle. Eh, not see anything that's jumping out at me. Of course, the casings, because I can always use more. Ooh, a protective sheath for my katana. You know what? That's actually pretty damn cheap. You're bet I'll buy it. 
Everything is so... You know what? Take take these NCR dollars. Everything out. Take that mine. Take those incendiary grenades. Now keep the pulse gun. I still have a super sledge on me. I must have taken it off one of the... Uh, ambushers. Yeah, frag grenades will still come in handy. I'm definitely keeping my combat armor. Eh, I guess that's good enough. What about hey you? There. Do you have anything? anything? Plasma pistol. Uh, <laughs> I'll, yeah, let me get a varmint rifle from way back at the start of the game. Uh, let's see. Baseball bag, maple body, anti-material rifle, custom bolts. Too bad my anti-material rifle isn't a gun runner's. Oh, man. There is a lot of katana stuff on you guys. Plasma pistol mag. You know what? Screw it. We're going to upgrade the hell out of this katana. Eh. Eh, why not? It's not like I use missiles a whole lot. So, ladies and gentlemen, making a return after God knows how many videos. Where is it? My trusted katana. TBG, apply some brand new mods. You know, it would actually help if I had it selected. Mmm! Oh, look at this thing. Beautiful. Beautiful! Look at this nice, beautiful red hilt. Uh, the sheath. Man, I swing this thing fast now, thanks to this new hilt. What did the sheath do? I think it was, like, uh, drawing speed, katana protective sheath. Uh, increases condition. Ah, oh. well, makes sense. The sheath would like protect it from the elements instead of just having it attached to my hip. So my awesome katana is now even more awesome. I am anime trash. Uh. Now the location that we wanted to go to is right over here. This like little like compound looking area, uh, which is basically a refugee camp. Unfortunately, the entrance to it is on the far side, so we got a little bit more of a hike. And while we're doing this, I might as well talk a little bit about the future of New Vegas and how the way uh, I have planned for the series to start making its way closed. And by that, I mean, what remaining quests do we have to do around here? Well, there's a couple of things uh, in Northside, but that's going to be for... I'm probably going to hold that off till next video unless we actually finish th this west side stuff fast and then maybe we'll possibly knock out uh, north side. The Aerotech Office Park. Uh, the only other remaining things we have to do is, well, there's that uh, certain location nearby west side that we need to do that is a pretty lengthy quest. Uh, the only other thing that I have in mind is we need to do Arcade's mission. We I need to go back and go... I'm probably going to just start chugging Sunset Sarsaparilla or revisiting old locations that I've been at to look for Star Battle Cats that I might have missed. Uh, the only other thing left is I do need to go back to Camp Searchlight to get uh, the remaining uh, NCR tags down there, which I might just do off screen just to save up on time and I'll just reappear while I have all the tags on me. Uh, so we got Arcade's mission, we got all that. There is a lengthy side quest that Camp Forlorn hope we need to go back and visit. Uh, we also need to go to the fort, and, well, i am still got a pretty high reputation with the Legion after killing battalions of their troops. And we need to deal with Caesar directly, which we might be doing in the near future. And also, there's the legendary creatures around the Mojave that we need to hunt down. And other than that, that's pretty much it. We'll go back to Hoover Dam, take the last quest before the end game, and then we'll get to work on starting the DLC, which is going to take probably 20 plus One videos of to do in the, of themselves. Like just about, sir. The Legion being wiped out at Nelson gave us some breathing room. Hopefully the brass will use that. Eh, I highly doubt it. Have you seen some of the lieutenants? Completely inept in Deluded. This here's where folks what exactly is this battle. place? Drifters up from the Republic, locals that can't turn a dime, drunken reprobates from all around. And if you don't have the caps to get onto the strip, odds are you'll end up here. 
Yeah, sounds like a chaotic place. Is there any way I can help? You could give me a hand. Some people have gone missing from the camp lately. I haven't seen any signs of violence or heard about any feuds. They just up and vanished. And I've also got Keith and his gambling to deal with. I know that skunk's cheating folk out of their savings. I just can't prove it. They never seem to. Uh, have much what can you tell me about the missing That's why people? I didn't notice it sooner. Young folks, old folks, men, women, all disappearing. I remember a family with a little blonde girl. She never talked much, but she always carried this little stuffed teddy bear. Seem to recall a Can lot of you remember anything for those else? over on the west side, Dermot and St. James. I suspect Tell me he's about this key. Too. I just can't prove it. Maybe you can find something. Talk to him, poke around his shack, something. All right, well, I'll be sure to keep an eye out and an ear to the ground. Come on, Raul. We must go and save the Mojave. Now, the look. I actually do remember there is a star bottle cap located here because. Uh, how many do I need to finally finish that quest? I think I only need like five more bottle caps. Let's see. Yeah, I'm at 45 right now. All I need is five more caps, and we're in business. I don't know why I said that's so weird. Uh, but is this the right location or is it across the way? No, Aerotech Suite 300 should be the right suite to go into. You guys are located inside, and Hello. if I did the, if you did the <laughs> stuff at Vault 34 correctly, Greetings. these are the survivors Pardon of Vault 34. Enthusiasm. I'm not accustomed to meeting so many new people, but I find you fascinating. You sound a whole lot older than you look, sir. Although I'm one to talk. World since our community left our home, I was the one who turned off the vents in Vault 34. You, did you redirect the power stream back to our section? We thought nobody would ever manage to get past the radiation and the ghouls. We owe you our freedom, Outlander. Please, if there's anything we can do for you. Then I could use a vault trinket. Of course. Closest we thing is I'm ever going to be doing to vault we related. as much useful technology as we could before our journey into the surface world. How's the surface world treating you? Kindly. The leaders of this fine community have accepted us among them. They gave us food and protection from the outside. Some people here seem extremely unhappy. They keep talking about getting shafted, swindled, and fucked. Apparently, somebody did them ill. All the way inside the surface city with lights. The Strip and Freeside, they call it. I'd say I saved you from being... Uh, don't mention it, your freedom's reward enough for me. It fills me with hope to see that people from the surface world are kind and brave. Again, thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, it's a cool little thing that they show off, although they're in a really, like, random location, so you would need to, like, remember that you actually saved them. I like that they were just, like, no-name NPCs that are just offhanded mentioned when you're going through Vault 34, but, you know, they actually make a presence, which I get, gotta commend Obsidian for that. Now, what I need to do is I need to go... Oh, I don't remember. I think they said it was in the kitchen of this place. That's Hello. where the... That's the bathroom. That looks like an office. But we need to find the star bottle cap. And I, from what I remember reading, it was in a kitchen around here. So maybe it's over here? I don't know. I don't know what officially dictates a t kitchen in this place. All I see are offices. Hmm. Maybe down here? Ah, this looks like a kitchen. And that looks like a star bottle cap. I'll take that. And these two sunset sarsaparillas. Alright, now we're only four more caps poured to finally finish that quest. And now also to make our way all the way across the park because that is where Keith is located. And then after that we're going to be going to the Sharecropper Farms and then we'll finally be going off to West Side to deal with the shenanigans that are over there. And then after that I, we're done with West Side I believe. I honestly don't remember if there's like one or two things that need to deal with West Side. I don't know.
credits over here. But I do know it is going a hell of a lot smoother than the last recording has, and that makes me happy. Maybe that, maybe that like, recording failure was just life's way of saying, Hey, whoa, you need to do this again, buddy. Trust me, people will like you more. Oh, take hey your time. There. It's not like Can I'm in a hurry. A caravan? Uh, who are you? Name's Keith. You feeling lucky? I got games of chance, games of skill, games of you name it. Want to win a little cash? Eh, no thanks. I got a lot of cash right now. Your loss? No loss, no, no loss. Eh, gambling's not my scene. Maybe you could hook me up with something medicinal? Oh, I get you. Looking for a slightly more chemical thrill? Okay, I'll tell you what. I happen to keep some jet around for emergencies. Uh, 35 caps in a chore. Eh, Jet's not my drug of choice. I'll just keep looking. Well, then why are you wasting my time? Because that's what a lot of people say I am best at. I've run in I've run some cons in my day. One clever bastard to another. What's your trick? You know how they say you make your own luck? Well, let's just say I make mine with a little extra ink on the cards. Marked cards, huh? Eh, a little bit obvious, but not bad. Hey, it's not like I use them all the time. Mostly, I keep them in my shack until I see a really fat score roll into town. Yeah, I don't think I'll be playing caravan with you, good sir. Come on back if you want a game. I still need to go over caravan because even though I've gone over all the casino games that this game's had to offer, I have yet to talk about caravan. Which, I don't think I'm ever going to be able to talk about caravan because I missed my chance and also I don't have... A number the number of cards required to do caravan all right let's make our way over to the sharecropper farms Hello, sir. You look important enough to talk to. Howdy. Something I can help you with? I'm looking for Corporal White. I was told he'd spoken to you. Yes. He said he was looking into the water shortage, but I haven't heard back from him. Got the feeling he wasn't here in any official way. White was talking to me about computer stuff and water delivery schedules through the pipes, but I'm just a farmer. Tech stuff is beyond me. The last person I saw him talking to was Lieutenant Romanowski. Romanowski's around here somewhere. Sorry I couldn't be more helpful. Right, that's enough help as I can get. You're more helpful than most people I talk to out here. Well, you look like you're in charge here, and you're the lieutenant. I've had a good running with lieutenants in my past. A platoon of veteran but rangers are like a tactical nuke, only tougher to scare. Yeah, and that armor is badass. I'm not a recruitment officer. You want to join the army? I'm sure someone at McCarran can point you in the right direction. Do, do I look like some fresh-faced grunt that is looking to be recruited? I've been working this army since before you arrived here. Possibly. I've done more for this army than you have. What have you done besides stand here and look over a field? I'm looking for Corporal White. Trent told me you'd seen him. Corporal White is currently solving the mystery of the great water shortage. Tried to convince me he had proof even. I didn't buy any of it. He went over to Westside to talk to Tom Anderson. Anderson's a follower of the apocalypse. Helps the people in Westside grow crops or something. Crops in Westside? The apparent water shortage here can't be a coincidence then. I really don't see the connection. Look, I'm a soldier, not a scientist. I just do my job. And this is why you will never get a promotion or make a name for yourself in this army. What can you tell me about this follower of the apocalypse? They're based out of the old fort in Freeside. They supposedly helped the NCR out at some point, but they go their own way now. They know stuff about tech and medicine and usually help out anybody who asks. Can't say I know any more than that. You haven't heard anything more from White? Haven't seen him. Serves him right if the NCR declares a Maywall. You seem to have something- do you have something against him? He's a glory hound, always looking for a way to get promoted to ranger. Thinks he's too good to be a regular trooper like the rest of us. 
Oh, yes, because God help yes. you if you need more rangers, you know, more able-bodied sure. troopers to help keep the peace out here. Yeah, that's a real shame, asshole. I hope a Legion raiding party hits this, hits this camp, well, these fields. Then we'll see what happens when you diss the rangers. All right, well, in all intents and purposes, we are finally going to make our way over to west side, and, well, we're here. And let's talk to the two guys that we need to talk to to begin with, which I believe, no, that's just a militia. That's one mean son of a bitch. Hello, sir. Why are you talking to me, man? I'm trying to relax here. Got it? Wow, a little jumpy, are you? Some people have gone missing. They say you were the last. They were last seen dealing with you. I don't know a thing about no missing refugees from that Aerotech camp. Go cry to somebody else. Hmm. I didn't mention Aerotech. Yeah. Well, I must have heard rumors. And uh... fuck you. You got nothing on me and Dermot. Right. Well, that's the easiest way to get out of a conversation, I guess. Just say fuck you. Get out of my face. <laughs> Uh, who are you? Marshal Fabrice. Come again? My pleasure is on Mars. Goodbye. Well, he doesn't seem like that mean of a son of a bitch. He's a pretty nice son of a bitch. Goodbye. Welcome to Casa Madrid. Cheapest, cleanest whores in all New Vegas. If you want to know the rates for Poon, talk to the whores. Uh, is this apartment building yours? Yep, for years now. Guess I should be calling it Casa Marco or something, but I haven't changed the signs. <laughs> Folks who can't pay their way onto the strip need a place to stay, too. And when pretty Sarah set her whores up here, the Casa went full service. Right. I had some questions about the tenants. Like who? Uh, know anything about St. James? Guy's unstable, but he pays his rent and Sweetie seems to like him all right. Well, I guess that's one way of getting a lead. Welcome to the Casa Madrid. Hello, sir. If you got an itch, need oh, scratch, ma'am. Sorry. To the right place. Just watch how you treat the merchandise. And eh, no merchandise for me today, thanks. Uh, what, is, what do you do around here? Anyone would want to spend any time here. I'm a pimp. All Marco does is collect rent and take a small cut of my action. He sure as hell doesn't clean the rooms. You know where hmm. to find me. Well, you're nothing special, so I need to look for a new lead. That's actually not the lead I was thinking of. St. James's apartment. I'm guessing everyone else is on the second floor, but hey, why don't we knock Whitewash out while we're here? Now, funny thing enough, I think this is the only time I ever noticed this. And I think he's the only character outside of another certain character, but we're going to be getting into that later when we start the DLCs and stuff. He has a Pip-Boy on him. Like, he's the only other person I've seen in this game besides me that has a Pip-Boy on him. I don't know. It just seems weird seeing another character with a Pip-Boy who's not wearing a vault suit. Can I help you? Uh, yes, I'm trying to find your soul. Apparently, it has left your body. I heard Corporal White came here to investi investigate a no water shortage. Come here, I'm afraid. You must have heard wrong. You can ask around if you like. They'll all tell you the same thing. It was easy to figure out that the NCR water shortage po points Fair to you. Enough. Save me the time, will ya? Since you seem to have pieced it together, I won't insult you by denying it any further. I killed Corporal White to protect Westside's self-reliance. It was rash, and I regret it now. We don't have money to pay for the water. You so totally sound so remorseful to about water killing to him. Cisterns from time to time. I'd rather not turn you in, but someone else might the come NCR looking for why you. By, say members from the Scorpions gang. It may be enough for them to close the case. Eh. All right, consider it done. You stay free, Thank and Westside keeps getting water. What happened was regrettable, but 
but I'll make sure it never happens again. White is as dead as I am on the inside. I just I I should just shoot him for that soul patch that he has on his chin. Like, who in the right mind has a soul patch nowadays? All right, well, our stuff takes us all the way back to Camp McCarran, so we need to go talk to Boyd about uh, Corporal White. So while we're still in West Side, let's go and continue the work with the Coyotes. Uh, oh, hey, you look shadow. like a very fair and understanding lady. Oh my God, Crypt Keeper! You looking for a good time? Uh. Thanks, but I don't like the feeling of bacon rubbing against me. What do you know Those about Dermot and St. James? Here a while now. They sell salvage and do all right. I never been with either of them. That St. James is all over Sweetie every time he rustles up the caps to a forder. She says he's peculiar, but who isn't? Aren't you kind of old for old to be doing sky, this? Honey. So long as my back don't give out, I can make a living lying on it. May not be as fresh as Sweetie or Jimmy, but pretty Sarah keeps me around for a good reason. Experience. Uh, tell me about this Sweetie. Apparently this Dermont guy is, or no, this St. James guy is very sweet on her, She's a good pun intended. Earner. Of course, she don't care who she sleeps with or what they do to her. I you see. know where to find me, honey. Yes, and I know where to stay very far away from. I mean, I guess Raul would be your kind of guy. The ones that run Gamora. Someone killed them. Why does she sound so distraught over gang bosses being killed? Hello? You must be this sweetie hey, person everyone's we'll talking about. Get acquainted. Chicks did a dude in heavy power armor. I'm called. Tell me a bit about yourself. I'm the sweetest piece you'll ever find anywhere outside of the strip. Right. Wouldn't you make more money working the on the strip? Good money, but I saw how those Omeras hook girls on free jet or medex, then start charging. Slavery through a needle is what that is. I earn less out here, but I keep more. Indeed. Ancient, does St. James pay... Actually, you know what? Do you sure know St. James? St. James is my number one customer. He's a prospect who pays Marco to stay here at the Casa week to week. I don't know why his friend Dermot chose to stay here. He's never been with me or nobody else. But St. James likes having me close at hand. Hmm. Has he ever paid you for anything unusual? Privacy, so it'll cost 200 caps for me to tell you all about it. Let's say 100 caps or you could earn zero Funny keeping your mouth shut. Every time I open my mouth. St. James's problems, that's for sure. Never wants me to say a thing or for me to move around either. Lately, he brings a teddy bear with him and props it on the bed like it's watching us. Ugh, it's creepy as hell. Not the worst I ever been with, but more a pervert than most. Hmm. Any chance you I could help me get into his room? Key, I'm not sure if he'd like it if I let you in there. St. James can be a little crazy sometimes. We can come I'll pay deal. you for the key. My price is firm, though. St. James is a good customer, and it better be worth it if I'm going to lose him. Uh, fine, two fifty should be enough. You know you'll be back. Goodbye. Eh, don't count yourself too short, honey. Let's go, boys. Something tells me it's about to become open season. Oop, excuse me. Whoop. Well, no 
one's home. Oh, look, a teddy bear. Oh, God, why is it all sticky? Been taking some kicks. I say kill them all. Huh, that was a little too easy. Daytime already? Jeez, what time is it? Only no he's asleep at 9.03 in the morning? Wow, what a lazy ass. And now he's over there. I agree, Rex. They, I got Do you have anything to say, sir? Ass you're looking for? Talk to pretty Sarah. Ugh, definitely not your ass. Me and my partner St. James work salvage around West Side. That's all. Why is your because partner called St. James? He may be high strong, but he's all right. Hauls his half a scrap, which is all I need. Uh, indeed. Now oh, I'm gonna beat something already. Bro, you having a good philosophical conversation with Rex? Good on you, buddy. Let's take a look at this ledger and see what dirt we dug up on him. Gonna be a little different this time. I've kept for Holland Scrab. Haha, -ha, but I've always been strong believer in keeping straight books. To Motor Runner, Teen Girl 500, Adult Man 38, 0. True to his word, paid top money for the girl plus bonus for the first delivery, but paid nothing for the girl's father who looked who took a swing at him when untied. Got to keep uh, more secured. Also keep St. James off the girls, as even fiends don't want used goods. Oh god. To Motor Runner. Don't woman 28, 250, old woman 25, old man 25, baby boy zero. Oh god. Gotta be more careful selecting what we deliver. Runner like the women, of course, but the baby's worthless except to make sure that the women do as she's told. Her parents next to worthless should have killed killed and left them one on the bright side. Runner says we can start dealing with the fiends closer by, so no more dragon folks all the way to the vault. All the way to Vault 3. To Nefi, Teen Girl 400, Teen Boy 150, Child Girl 7, 50 caps. More like it. Learn from past... Uh, wow, very illiterate this person is. Learn from past and got rid of mom and dad along the way. Try to get more for the young one. I say, hey, give her time to sprout, but Nefi wouldn't have it. Kept seeing James off the girls so long as he got his damn teddy. He's a sick one, but I guess he works. The work calls for it. To cook, cook. Adult woman, 200 caps. Teen girl, 400. Teen girl, 400. Teen boy, 100. Did not like dealing with this cook, cook. Didn't know if he'd pay us or burn us. I guess he, what they do with them once they got them is up to them. It is in my business, but he didn't even wait for us to turn the corner before he started torturing the boy, making the woman folk watch. Let's hope to deal with the fight next time. Oh, you sick bastards! I said, "Fuck off." Oh, I'm You're gonna right fuck that. off, all right? St. James got a thief here. That's for telling me to fuck off. Now you two have fucked off for good. Yeah, and you're gonna deal any damage to me with that rinky-dink nine-millimeter submachine gun. I'm gonna take this. I'm gonna take your police hat. You're too good. I'm too. You're too bad for it. And you make me sick. That's more like it. Dynamite and a power fist probably would have done a lot more damage. Thank God Rex was on hand and also. Dead Eye Raul. But that is officially done and over with. Uh, let's make our way back to the Aerotech building. Or the Aerotech Complex. When, when Tarnation would it be? Did I really say Tarnation? I've been spending way too much time in the West. Next thing you know, I'm going to be wearing a cowboy hat. I mean, I already got the revolver. It's only a matter of time, I tell you. I need to get out of this place. Right now we just need to look for the captain, and he should be right over there.
Things are getting stranger every day. Word around the east side is that you took out some major players. Captain, sir. Machines. That should make life safer for a lot of people. Ah, that's old news, dude. Um, uh, something I can help you with, stranger. Huh. All right. Uh, I've got proof drugs that Keith is selling gambling? drugs and using Can't marked cards. Surprised. Here, you've earned this. And I'm gonna go take Keith into custody. If you're interested in a little extra pay, I wouldn't mind backup. Glad to have you. Yeah, a little go. easy money, Just sure. And follow my lead. Keith's a cowardly son of a bitch, but he might try something if he's desperate. You know what? I got just the hat for this. In the name of the law, let's go kick his ass. I look like such a tool in this thing. Uh, this may take a while. Is there anything else to do with the coyotes or do I just need to report back to him? Okay, I just need to report back to him after we deal with Keith. Move it! Man, he's probably halfway across the Mojave with how long it took us to get to him. Out of my way, junkie. Keith, in the name of the NCR, I'm placing you under arrest for illicit gambling and the sale of unlicensed chems. Fuck you, man. I ain't going nowhere with you. Come quietly now. I don't want to have to hurt you. Why don't you go cry to your wife then? Oh, that's right. She left your worthless stinking ass. You son of a bitch! Um, the looked at me and I just about surrendered. How he said, you mean like kind of how he quiet. surrendered, sort of? Not really. Count on that. Well, and that was he definitely didn't go quietly. Is there anything else? That might have been a tad excessive. Maybe, maybe not. I always warned him not to push my buttons. Well, ain't nobody gonna miss him anyways. Here you go. I promised you an extra reward for coming along, so that's what you get. Have you found All out what right. happened to those missing refugees? Uh, yeah, these two jackasses were behind it, and uh, they're dead now. Know? Did you find proof? I found this evidence in the rooms. They attacked when I confronted Those sick them. bastards. Can't say I'll shed any tears for them. Here, you've earned this. I need to kill this music, but before that, let's see if Keith has anything good on him. Gamora, Gamora, Tops, and a stim pack. Oh, that actually does up it by five. Alright, let's get the hell out of here or find that radio. Actually, better yet, just get out of here because I know there's nothing to value inside that place. And let's get the hell out of Aerotech. This place is a madhouse. Back to... No. McCarran. I'll see you when I'm at Boyd's place. And we're back. Still watching TV and not being a proper lieutenant, aren't you? Like you're back. Yes, I'm back. I have an update on White. Don't tell me. He married the hooker. He was killed by... A gang called the Scorpions murdered him. A man named Anderson witnessed it. Shit. That's why you don't go wandering off looking for some call girl on the strip without telling somebody first. Anderson. Is that the followers of the apocalypse, Anderson? He wants you to increase the water flow to free side, said... It'd be lost otherwise. Man, that guy's got water on the brain. Knows more about water pipes than any man should. If he says we're losing water, I think the colonel would listen to that. I'll talk to him about it. But you, I owe you for this. You saved me a lot of work. And I'm sure Corporal White's family will be grateful to at least get some closure. 
The MPs keep a bunch of junk around that's confiscated off of people who decide to screw with us. I haven't really sorted through it, but go ahead and see if there's anything you can use in there. We keep it in a trunk across the hall, by the prison cells. Alright. Illegal contraband, not a bad reward. Now I just wonder what the NCR would consider contraband. I don't know, maybe it's like heavy chems that I can sell. Maybe it's like uh, illegal weapons that they smuggled into the Mojave. No, I'm kind of excited for this. I can't wait to see what they got. Hey, how's it going? Why do you have a super sledge while in your cell? So you're back. So I am. Take your pick. You can sell me stuff in jail? What? Huh. Why does he have so many throwing spears on him? Well, I don't think that's regulation. Ah, the contraband chest. Trunk, whatever. Inside we got a comic book. Doctor's bags, comics. Mentats, comics, a super stint pack, and more comics. Ah, yes, the worst of the worst contraband. Comic books, a couple of medical supplies, and a Mentos. You know, the fresh maker. Truly the most evil thing to bring on to a military base. Alright, so since things have ended relatively faster than I intended them to be, and seeing as how we got a little bit of time left, I think we should do something that will affect the ending to New Vegas. I did a little bit of uh, practicing, and by that I mean I practiced for what would be the next recording, and also um, uh, this, because I thought it was like literally right before the end we could do this, but evidently I was wrong. And also we might as well pick up a Mojave weapon that is over here, since we're right next to Mormon Fort. But we need to go pay Julie a visit. And... Okay, yeah, I'm in the right area. But before we do that, if we follow the train tracks down a little ways... If you remember back when we first went to McCarran, there was this character, Little Buster, and... For some odd reason... Uh-oh. I see Oh, that's just... We got company, boss. We know so much for company. Hey, you're the one who's been going around helping people around here, right? The king says to keep up the good work. He said to give you this. You just helped me murder a man! You saw it, right? Whatever. Anyways, uh, you find little Buster... Well, his body just laying here on this track's dead. There's no way, no reason to say how he died. I guess he got, like, jumped by some people around here, which is really sad when you come to think of it because he's decked out in metal armor and he has a unique weapon and these guys are just wearing nothing, carrying switchblades. You were a sad, pathetic excuse of a mercenary. But on him, he has the cram opener and a couple of frag grenades, which is always nice, and the metal armor if that swings your way. Actually... What's my T-51 at? You know what? I'll repair this T-51 with that metal armor. It's not like he's going to get any use out of it. Yeah, yeah, I know I'm over-encumbered. T-51. Much better. Well, by much better, I mean much better. Uh, but anyways, uh, the cram opener, the, it honestly feels like an early weapon that was put too late into the game. Where is it? Uh, up here. It's the unique bladed gauntlet, so the unique factor is that it has uh, three blades on it instead of the traditional two. It's very, like, fat. Like, it almost fixed up the entire, like, uh, armor section for this power armor. Uh, it, it has a little bit higher of a critical chance than the normal bladed gauntlet does, but other than that, it's nothing any special. But back inside Mormon Fort, we need to go talk to Julie, because... Before, when the game initially came out, this was not an available option. I think it took a couple of patches to do it. I think it was like the 1.1 or 1.2 patch. 
Uh, hey. But the followers in the end, no matter what happens, they get screwed. But this one, we can actually help them out. I've heard a few patients mention the Securitrons are acting strangely. And no one has heard from Mr. House in a while. Oh the yeah, I killed him. Splutter his brains Maybe all over that place. Hands on some of his technology. It would help our scientists greatly. Well, we already tried to bug his place, and you remember how that went. Um, I think the followers should support the NCR in the coming Battle of the Dam. Why should we support the NCR? Their continual operational incompetence gets their soldiers killed, and they hold a monopoly on water in the Mojave. It's not my fault our soldiers are so incompetent! Uh, they wouldn't have nearly enough doctors without the followers' support. But the followers aren't fighters. We get annihilated as frontline medics. Yeah, we're not fighters, but we have a safe house full of laser weapons and combat armor. Get out of here, Julie. The followers were at as support safely away from combat. In that case, they'll have our support. We cannot afford to let the Legion win. So yeah, that's actually the way to get the best outcome for the followers of the apocalypse. Actually, I you know what, Julie? I really hope the NCR are getting supplies in place to defend against an attack, because it looks like the Legion has plans for the dam again. And I have plans for the Legion. Um, I like. I need some medical services. No, not medical services. I need supplies. Sure. Would you? Uh, I always go for the stim pack. Yeah, wait 24 hours for my endless supply of stim packs from you guys. Ah oh, well, we made a lot of progress today. We uh, pretty much cleared out Freeside for the most part. Uh, we got the followers to help out the NCR in the final battle for Hoover Dam. Uh, we got we got the cram opener, so now we can open up a cram of whoop ass. I'm so sorry for that. I will hang myself after this recording. And also, we got a new star bottle cap, so when we next time, I'll probably have like the other four remaining star bottle caps from the any areas that we missed that I might have not picked up from. But anyways, next time on Fallout New Vegas, we are going to head off to Northside. Yes, we're not done just yet with the sides of, you know, Vegas. All that's left is Northside, uh, a little, like, off the beaten path over here, because there is actually a unique weapon in this area that I need to pick up, as well as a unique weapon in Northside. And then after that, we're going to be heading over to the Westside West entrance because and start that long, long long tedious side quest so until then i will see you guys next time later